Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Anar and I'm a self-taught software developer. And on this channel, I help you break into and grow in the tech industry. Some time ago, a viewer left a comment on one of my videos where he explained that he wasn't sure about learning C++ because he felt like he first needed to improve his math and English. He went on to thank me and wish me good luck. If you're watching this, I appreciate the positivity and I hope my videos continue to motivate and guide you. Alright, so let's talk about skills that you need to become a programmer. Since the skills math and English were mentioned in the comment, I'm going to start there. Before I get into that, a gentle reminder to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future content, hit the like button if you enjoy the video or find it useful, and drop any questions you have in the comments below. So I'll start off by saying that not being strong with math should not stop anybody from learning programming. Most programming either requires no math or very simple math that you learned as a child, like multiplication, addition, and subtraction. The only scenario where you actually need to be strong at math is if you purposely choose a specialty of software engineering that's actually math heavy. Most people that want to learn programming either want to go into web development, app development, or game development, none of which are particularly math heavy. The only skill you really need to become a programmer is programming. You can learn all the math you want, that's still not going to make you a good programmer. Alright, so the second skill mentioned in the comment was English. So here's the thing, software code is actually written in English, but knowing English does not mean you're going to understand these words, which are written in English, in the context of code. For example, you may know what the word class means in English, but it means something else entirely in the context of programming. This is because class is a reserved word. Programming languages are full of reserved words, which are basically words that are used as names to describe concepts. So knowing what the word class means in English doesn't mean you know the computer science concept of a class. Even though sometimes these reserved keywords are self-explanatory, like if or else, very often they are not. So not knowing English should not stop you from learning programming, because whether you know English or not, you're still going to have to learn all these concepts from the beginning. I would just suggest watching programming tutorials in a language that you understand well. This way you aren't faced with the challenge of trying to understand what's going on with the code, while at the same time trying to figure out what your instructor is even saying. With that said however, I want to highlight that most programming content and documentation is actually in English. And this is where you may face a challenge, because it's always going to be easier to find a solution on the internet in English than in any other language. I think having a little bit of English is plenty, and I definitely don't think that you need to know English just to start learning to program. I can go on talking about different skills that you don't need in order to start learning to program, but at this point I think you can see that I don't actually believe there are any skills you need in order to start learning to code. You can have every skill in the world or none at all. At the end of the day, if you're learning to program for the first time, it's going to be new and it's going to be tough. The only way to learn it is by doing it, and the more you program, the better you'll become. If your English is not strong, just find a good instructor that speaks the same language as you and learn programming from them. I'll end it here, let me know if you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.